Today, I'm going to be replacing the broken arm on my GoPro Karma drone. Uh, if you watch from my previous videos, you'll see I ran it into a tree. Not the smartest thing in the world to do. Especially on a drone that is so easy to fly. I don't know how I ran it into a tree. I'm just not very good, I guess. Alright, let's get started. Uh, you can go on the GoPro website and you can order any of the pieces for the GoPro Karma drone um, or the gimbal and uh, they'll send them out to you. They send them to me two day air for free. Um, free shipping. I had to pay for the parts. Um, but uh, very, very, very fast uh, response time. So, let's get started. In the box I ordered the new arm and a new set of props because I smashed all four props when I ran it into the tree. So bonehead maneuver for me. That's bonehead maneuver of the week. Right, let's open these up. See if I can open the package without cutting my fingers off. Use some good tape. All right. Comes with instructions. Comes with the new arm. Beautiful. Uh, comes with new screws. Comes with a tool to remove the clip. And comes with a screwdriver. Comes with everything you need to, to change the arm out. Alright. Now. To do this, first we're going to remove the battery and we're going to remove the gimbal just for safety's sake and make it a little easier to manage. Now, we flip it upside down. A little buggy here today. Open the landing gear. Then we take the included screwdriver and remove the screws holding on the landing gear. Got to give it to GoPro. They really put a lot of thought into the, the design when they made this thing. All of the components are modular and can be replaced separately. Uh, very, very easy to work on. So, props to GoPro for that. They could have made it a very hard design. I oh, also got to peel off. label with my FAA registration number on it. We'll save that. Now we pull off the landing gear. And you have to be careful because there is a cable attached to it. 
See, there's a cable there. You just unplug that, set your landing gear aside. Now, we have to remove the the two screws holding on the cover for the arms. Again, you use the same screwdriver that was included with the replacement arm. We should be able. Oh, first, we want to remove the clips. You insert the tool between the two clips, which will unlock them. And then you just pull on the tabs and unlatch them. Very nice tool to have, very handy. They include it with the new arm. Otherwise, it'd be a bear to get something down in there to unlatch those clips. Now, we just simply pull up the little cover that's covering the arms. Gently push the electrical clip, electrical wire and harness through the hole. You don't want to break anything. It's a pretty tight fit there. There we go. Now, we have one screw holding on the, the arm. Again, the same screwdriver fits all the screws. Unscrew it. And then we should be able to lift off the damaged arm. You can see I really, really did a number on that bad boy right there. Take the new arm, place it over and then we take our new screws Place the new screws right here on the table. You got a new washer and a new screw going into the arm. As you can see, I'm doing this and I'm a shaky old part so if I can do this repair pretty much anybody can <sighs> hard parts hitting the hole that's what she said and then just screw it down tight sure that our arms move. Excellent. Now we just got to put it back together. So we take our, our arm cover, feed the wiring harnesses back through the holes,
See what I mean? Shaky old man syndrome. There we go. And beat that one through. There we go. Line it up on there. screw, place it in the hole, get it started there, and we take our GoPro screwdriver, Now they put Loctite on the threads of the new screws so they don't come out when, when the drone is flying and as things are vibrating. Uh, so they are a little hard to tighten in, but they will go in. is back in. Line in. Push it in until it clips into place. Make sure that your wire is all where it needs to be. Everything looks good. Sure those are in securely so you don't have a motor cut out while you're in the, in the air that would be a bad thing okay now we're ready to put our landing gear back on remember to plug in the, the harness back in clips into place and just line it up make sure everything is sitting down where it's supposed to nice and tight and we're ready to put the final screws back in
Everything looks good. Putting in the last screw. set of props. Snug them down. You don't want them to come off. They are self-tightening, but I always like to make sure I get them, get them a little snug on there, at least hand tight. As long as you get them on there hand tight, they're not going to fly off. They're directional, so as the motors turn, they will tighten down. Now, let's put the gimbal back in. Put the battery back in. And we're ready for a test flight. Ready to start. Press and hold the start stop button. All right, here's the test. We are flying! Alright!
Well, it's back on the ground, no problems. It flew perfectly. I think that was a successful test flight. I am very happy. And thank you GoPro for making this so easy to repair and having all of the parts available for me. By the way, if anybody wants to buy a slightly used GoPro Karma arm, just uh, leave me a comment and I'll be happy to sell it to you. I'll sell it cheap. Well, I think um, first uh, $5 will buy it. Thanks. Bye-bye.